Hi everyone. So, there's a cat hair on my camera. Oh, there's another one. Anyway, um, that was gonna distract me throughout this video. So, for today's video, I had one of my subscribers send me questions for my Q&A, but I got it after I did my Q&A, so we're gonna do another Q&A. She sent me a list of like 10 questions, yeah, 10, 10 questions, and so I figured I would make this video just for her. So, cause 10 questions is enough to make a video. If it was like five or something, I'd save it to the next Q&A, but I'm gonna go ahead and just make this video for her, and I told her I would. So I'm just gonna answer some of her questions. I'm pull it up on my Instagram. There's cat hair on me. Either that or I'm like making it up. Ooh. Anyway. So, what is your favorite drugstore slash high-end foundation? So, my favorite drugstore foundation is the Makeup Revolution foundation. I have that in my drawer. I just filmed my foundation blush drawer and this is my favorite one so it's this foundation right here i wear the shade f1 and it's the makeup revolution london conceal and define full coverage foundation this is my favorite drugstore foundation love it to pieces now favorite high-end foundation um let me see if i can find it in here it's my benefit one the benefit hello happy one i really like that one where is it there it is oh it is this one, this Benefit Hello Happy foundation. I wear the shade one. I think this is $29 or $30, and you get a fl one fluid ounce, which isn't, 30 bucks is not that bad for a high-end foundation. I mean, there's a lot more foundations out there that one ounce is $45, $50, $60. So, but Benefit, since Benefit is a higher-end brand, I would consider this one. And this is the only high-end foundation I have, you guys. And it's this one. I'm going to get more in the future. I'll be trying out a bunch more foundations, but this one is my favorite right now. I actually need to get a new one because this one's almost out. Yeah. Favorite Jeffree Star liquid lip shade. Oh Lord. Um, I have a couple, so I'll show you a couple. Let me move some stuff to get my little tower out here. Let's put that back. Let's see. I keep all my Jeffree lipsticks on this. Oh, this one's going to be really hard. I love this one. This is in the shade Clout. I think this one's a pretty funky one. It's a metallic purpley one. I love this one. I just think that's so pretty. It's unique. Like, what other liquid lipsticks do you know is it like a purpley silver metallic? So I love this one. It is, I think it is limited edition. He may have brought it back permanently. I'm not 100% sure. And then another favorite is I'm Nude, which is this one. I love nude shades. Nudes are like my colors. I need to get a new one of this one because I am almost out. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful nude. So I would say that one. And then, I like this one. I like Scorpio. Scorpio is another kind of funky one. Which is like a purpley one. I definitely couldn't just pick one. I mean, I love his, his stuff. I really do. Mm. This one's pretty. This is flamboyant. Just have like a little Jeffree Star swatch party. This one's really fun. It's like a watermelon-y color. So those are just some of my favorites. I have a few. It's With Jeffree Star, it is so hard to pick, you guys. Like, he has so many different shades and that's just, that's a hard question. But those would be my top four, five. Let's do another one. Let's do top five. Let's see. Oh, definitely androgyny, 100%. 
this is more wearable than you'd think. Yeah, those are top five. There you go. All right. Are you 420 friendly? Yes. Yes, I am. Do I do it? I don't. But I don't have a single thing wrong, single thing wrong with it at all. Um, so I would say, yeah, I am. YouTube, don't demonetize me for saying that. But I am. I don't have a single, single problem with it. Uh, what? Who are my favorite YouTubers? So... That one's hard. I would say... I love Mr. Beast. Not YouTube related, but I love Mr. Beast. I think he's awesome. I can't get this Jeffree Star lipstick off of me. Love Mr. Beast. Love... I love all his videos, y'all. I... I love his videos. YouTube-wise, I mean, you have, of course, Jeffree Star, Madison Miller, I love her, and her daughter's adorable, little Riley, she's so cute. Um, of course, one of my subscribers, Savannah, I love Savannah. I watch a lot of different people. That's It's really hard to just narrow it down to, like, my, my you know, top three or top five. It's really hard because I watch YouTube a lot because, obviously, I'm on YouTube, so I'll sit down and just, you know, like, who am I going to watch today? And just go through, scroll through who has the newest video, and I'll watch that. So I'd definitely say Madison Miller, Jeffree Star, um, Savannah, Mr. Beast, 100% Mr. Beast, love him. And I'd say, yeah, that, that, that's good. That's a good number. There is a cat hair on me. It's driving me nuts. Chinzy, girl. Do you prefer high-end or drugstore? Mm, I would say I have a lot more high-end than I do drugstore, but I'm trying to branch out and try more drugstore brands. So if you wanna see like a full face of a drugstore brand, let me know, I'll be happy to do it. I, Walmart's just down the road, I can go to Walmart. Um, but I, I just, I do own more high-end. I, I own more high-end than I do drugstore. I hate to say that. I don't want to sound like some rich, spoiled girl because that's definitely not the case. Your girl works 80 plus hours a week. Not even joking. Well, that's a lie. I worked 80 hours a week. Now I'm down to 60. But I I just have a lot more drugs. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I have a lot more high-end than I do drugstore, unfortunately. I, I do want to try more. I will try more. But right now, I do like a lot more high-end. That's just because what I have. So, favorite highlighter. That one's hard. Okay, hold on. Let me get in my drawer. Oh, Lord. Hmm. That's a good question. I don't know. This Jeffree Star one in Ice Cold, this is what I'm wearing today. Definitely really good. These are definitely worth the money. 29 bucks for a highlighter that has 15 grams. Like, you can't beat that. I'd say that this BH Cosmetics one is really good. This backlight highlighter. And this is, this one is $15. And BH Cosmetics always, always, always has codes or coupons. And you can get it for like $9, $6. Just incredible, incredible deals. So... I'd say that, and you get a lot of funky colors. You get like a blue, this one has a green shift, a white, pinks. I really like this one. And this Wander Beauty one that I got in a Ipsy subscription. Love this. If you can tell, I've like used the heck out of this. I'll swatch it. I'll swatch this one for you guys. Of course, you may not be able to see it over the Jeffree Star <laughs> swatches, but... That is what the Wander Beauty highlight looks like. I love this. And this is in the shade After Hours. Highly recommend that one. So, and I'll swatch, I'll swatch these just because these are some of my favorites. I'll swatch these for you guys. This Jeffree Star highlight. That's what I'm wearing today is Ice Cold. And then I'll swatch a couple from this BH palette. So I'll swatch this one. And these are so soft. 
I'll swatch the pink one and then the blue one. So that's what those look like. Blue one, the pink one, and then a oh, little chunky, that one. Love these. It's such a good deal too, such a good deal. Oh, getting them off, just struggle. Especially when you don't edit your videos. All right. Do you think you will ever edit your videos? How did I know that one was coming? Um, right now, no. Um, just because I think that the community that I'm in, the, the beauty community needs more people that don't edit their videos that are completely 100% raw and real. And that's... That's not why I did it, but I definitely, it, it's, it's me. It's, it's me. I don't want to come on here and, you know, edit, you know, an hour worth of footage. I want you guys to be able to see absolutely everything that goes on behind the camera. You always hear when the cats are back here. That's real. That's life. You hear the cats. You see me spray a perfume, you see my reaction. If I don't like it, you're gonna know. You're gonna be able to say like, oh, ooh, that, you know, you're gonna be able to see like, oh, well that, that stinks. And I don't have to edit out, oh, well, my facial expressions, you know, I don't have to make the, make the video, it's like, when I'm actually that. You know, so it, it gives you guys a level of realness and raw video that I, I think you guys deserve. I think you guys deserve to see everything that goes on. And that's ultimately why I don't edit my videos and I'm not going to edit my videos. Maybe, maybe, maybe. In the future, I will edit. I doubt it, but maybe in the future, there is that small chance. But this is me. You guys are seeing me. You're seeing my life. You're seeing my cats. You're seeing everything that goes on. And that's just not going to change. So, no. Not going to edit. Not doing it. What kind of finish do you normally like your foundations to have? I like a matte finish. Um, I'm not a big dewy sheer finish kind of person. I have foundations that are, but when I put like my powder over it, I don't like the cakiness and I think the mattes make my skin look a little more flawless than the dewy finishes or the sheer finishes. I'm just not a big fan of those. I have them in my collection. I do use them, but they're not my biggest, biggest favorite. How did you come up with your cat's names? <laughs> so Pumba was my first baby. And he is just, he's Pumba. Let me tell you, he's Pumba. There is no words to describe him. Um, one day when I got him, the day that I got him, he was given to me by a little girl. Uh, I used to work at a flea market in Western North Carolina where I live. And this little girl came up to me and she couldn't keep him anymore. He was just about the size of my hand, a little boy. And she came up to me and she asked me to take him. And I said, yeah, I'll take him. He was my first cat. I didn't want him to go to somebody else. Um, he was right there, she had him and I'm like, yeah, I'll give him a good home. So I took him home and I was watching Disney Channel or something. Now mind y'all, I am 22 years old and I still watch the Disney Channel. But I took him home and it was, it was late and the Lion King was on. And this was, Puma, how old are you? Four years ago? Three or four years ago. And I sat him down at the end of the bed and he just stared at the TV. Just stared. And he didn't have a name at that point. The little girl had never named him. He watched the Lion King from the beginning to the end. He didn't move. Watched the TV. And I just, I told my dad, cause I was living with my dad at the time. I was like, I've got a name in Pumbaa. He just, he's, he's Pumbaa. And that's how Pumbaa got his name. Um, 
Sarabi was my next cat. She's actually the oldest, but she was the second one that I got. One of my friends could no longer take care of her. And I said, okay, I'll take her. I'll take her. Pumbaa needs a little girlfriend. He needs a little friend. Even though Pumbaa was already fixed. But Sarabi so came in. She didn't have a name either. Um, my friend never, never named her. Just kind of called her Fluffy. And she, her and Pumbaa just, I don't know, best friends. And when you put in the Lion King, Sarabi so sits there with Pumbaa. And they will watch the Lion King. So I got lucky with that as well. And I named her Sarabi because she is so calm. If you know who Sarabi is in the Lion King, Sarabi is the mother of Simba. She is so calm, just so chill, sleeps all the time. And I named her Sarabi. Shinzi was the next one to come along. And she, uh, Unfortunately, I worked I worked really late one night. Um, I had to do inventory or something. So I came into, came into work and I work at a local business. So I have the key to the business. And so I got out of my car and Travis, my, my boyfriend at the time was like, do you hear that? I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Your girl can't hear nothing. Um, he's like, it sounds like a cat or something. Like, and I listened and there was just this noise it sounded like a dying goat I'm not even kidding and we started walking around the parking lot and got over to the dumpster and it, she stopped crying I was like that's so weird and we'd walk away and she'd cry again and I told him I was like I think there's a cat in the dumpster and sure enough I pulled the dumpster um, door to the side and there she was in the dumpster I looked down at my feet and there was two cans of unopened cat food. Someone literally dumped her in the dumpster with litter mats. There was cans of food that was not opened. There was, what else? There was little bowls in the dumpster. Someone had thrown her in the dumpster. Um, and I grabbed her and she's been mine ever since. When I took her to the vet, just to make sure everything was okay because she was in the dumpster. I took her to the vet to give her, you know, make sure there was nothing wrong with her. Make sure she was healthy and okay. Very malnourished. Very, very, very malnourished. Um, the She didn't have a name, so they were just calling her kitten. And the vet tech um, came in. She's like, D don't you have a name for her? And I said, no. And I told her the names of my other cats. And she was like, well, what about Shinzi? which is one of the hyenas, I think in Lion King 2 or Lion King 2 and a half or something. And I was like, that is so perfect. That is so perfect. And we went home, we turned on Lion King and sure enough, she acts like the hyenas in Lion King. She's always talking, she's always running. She's just a very happy, cheerful little cat. And so that's how Shinzi got her name. So all three cats have Lion King names, no more. I can't handle anymore. We're done. Um, but that's how they that's how they got their names. So are you going to have a upload schedule for your YouTube videos? Hopefully one day. I'm working on it. I'm trying. Um I'm tr I don't really like to pre-film that much. I only pre-film for the days that I am off work and I get three days off in a row. Um, some weeks, some weeks are a little different. Some weeks I only get two. It just, it, my work schedule is a little weird depending on the hours that I have to work. So yes, I will eventually. And when that happens, when I do get on a full schedule, I'll, of course I will let you guys know. Um, right now it's just not, it's just not a schedule. I'm sorry. I'm working on it. I promise. But right now, no, I just, I just don't have one. So anyway, that is all the questions that she had for me. Of course, you guys, you can always leave me questions. You can tweet them. I can answer them. I can make a video, whatever y'all want to do. Um, but thank you so much for sending me these questions. I uh, love you so much. And thank you for watching my videos and always being supportive of, supportive of me. I really appreciate it. 
and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Bye guys.